Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. In the last episode, we finished off another level, at least the best we could, because we are only able to do so much of each level because until we get Hunter rescued from the Sorceress, because he's been in prison and everything, we can't do the skateboarding part of one of the levels, and until we get the next uh, animal companion friend guy that we rescue, you know, kind of like the Yeti and the Penguin dude and whatever, which I think is like a monkey dude, I think he was the one that was on the cover. But anyways, he's the next one that we have to rescue, and so until we get him, we can't do the rest of the missions and everything. And so, yeah, we only completed five levels, and I was like, freaking out, I was like, okay, I think there's supposed to be, like, six levels or something like that, and so I was, like, going back and looking at the room, like, yeah, I can see, like, this one had one, two, three, four, five, and then the speedway, and I was like, wait, there's these two, I totally forgot, and I kept saying, there's, like, eight levels per one, and yeah, there's eight levels, but that one's the boss, and that one's the Sparks mission, so I, there is only, besides the speedway, there's only five levels in each one, so one, two, three, four, five, we've already done all five, so... We actually just need to do the speedway, and what's weird is it didn't do the cutscene to take me to the boss, but I looked it up to see just like, okay, what am I supposed to do? It says you're just supposed to select to go to the next area, so I'm like, okay, maybe it just glitched and didn't play the cutscene for some reason, or I don't know. So I gotta kind of figure that out, but that means all we have to do is the speedway and we've completed all the levels here, so we're just gonna do that like we normally do. So I hope you guys are ready and excited because I am too. Remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe to me some more. Without further ado, let's go do a speedway. Hopefully this doesn't take the whole video to do the speedway because I've had that happen before and I'm not looking forward to that. But luckily I do like the, the speedways in this game, I think better than the other one. But that isn't to say they are without their problems. I'm hoping this one's not too difficult though. The race part of it seems to be the difficult part for me. Like, I can do the collectathon thing pretty well, and I can generally do the side mission thing. Which, Hunter's not here, though. Is there a side mission here? Because we usually have to have Hunter help us with a side mission. When it comes Speedway, it's home to the fastest racing beast in the world. It is also one of the only Speedways that operates at night. Which challenge would you like to play? Time attack. Easiest way to complete this time attack challenge is to fly through all the honeycombs first, then pass the beehives, defeat the bees, and save the boat riding bears for last. Okay. Oh, this is cool totally different style of rings so it's rings first then it said honeycombs and it saved the bears for last i mean beehives yeah then these are beehives not honeycombs we flow through rings that were shaped like honeycombs so we do this then we defeat the angry bees then it's bears on boats which is kind of a weird statement <laughs> i just don't realize it's bears on boats it's kind of a cute area little rivers of honey and everything let me come back through here and now it's Angry bees? Okay, I was about to say, is he not gonna go down? You gotta get real close to these guys. Oh, they go up and down. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Need to pay more attention. I just kind of zoned out there for a second. I was like, oh, they ain't moving. This is easy. Nope, gotta pay a little more attention than that there, Fox. There we go. Bears on boats, bears on boats, bears on boats. Probably a faster way to do this than this, but I ain't taking any chances, so I'm just gonna go at my own speed and pace. Yeah, that could get me going down that little lip there. I thought I might have missed him, but nope. Last bear on a boat, bear on a boat, bear on a boat. First try, baby. Oh, yeah. Nine seconds left. I probably, like I said, I probably could have done that faster, but I was not chancing it. Awesome. We got Chris. Okay, that's kind of a that's a pretty normal name considering some of the stuff we've been getting. Challenge, would you like? Okay, race the bumblebees. These are the ones that always give me trouble. Your opponents are a gang of giant bumblebees this time. The red dots will help guide you through their course. Just make sure to fly through each of the green rings. Fly through all the green rings and use red dots to navigate. We've got missiles, which means we are going to have to shoot stuff, and I'm going to have to find shortcuts, unless they're not too fast. Maybe it's not like that other one we did where it's like they're crazy fast. Yeah, they don't seem super fast. They still have the speed burst. But it looks like they're not too... Ooh. Got a little zippy there, didn't I? By oh, that's a red bumblebee. Out of my way, bumblebee. Oh, what? 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 
Are you... Are you serious? I got totally jammed in there. Well, that just ain't fair. Did that say that I was only in sixth place? Okay, it's because I failed. I was about to say, there's no way I was only in sixth place. There's no way there's like eight bumblebees, because I passed like two or three of these guys. That's cool, they're all different colored ones. I didn't even notice that. I just thought the other one was kind of green because of the like tinting or something like that. That's cool. Squirrely, squirrely. There we go. Yeah, I'm catching up. That is a very dangerous button right there. <laughs> like, as I'm getting closer to that, I'm like, I'm totally gonna stab myself on that, aren't I? Just gonna squeeze by you all nice and sweet like, yeah. Out of my way, red guy. I was about to say, I better hit that one. <laughs> that was close. A little close for comfort there. Okay, looks like, is there, yeah, there's a speed boost in here. A rocket. Another speedy burst. Ow. Okay, really? Out of the way. Okay, so we're on lap two now. I did kind of mess up there a little, which could screw us over, but hopefully not. I could use that to slow him down a bit to at least get me... Yeah, that got me some space. And didn't let him get the full speed burst, it looks like. Maybe. Yeah, I think I can catch up to him. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. There's our first place boy there. It's going pretty quick, but that's fine. I got this. I totally missed that other one. That could screw me over, but maybe not. It'll be close. Come on, Rocket. Oh yeah. That should slow him down right before he gets the speed burst, which means, yeah, I don't think he got the full speed burst. Oh, come on, really? Oh, come on, really? That, that's gonna screw me over, and I missed that one, but that's fine. You win some, you lose some. Okay, lap three, we're good. Got this whole lap to do this, and I got a rocket. Slow him down. Slow him down a little more. Perfect. I don't know what that trophy was for, and I really wish I could have checked it out. It was probably for hitting, like, so many stars in a row or something like that. Because I did do pretty good at that, I gotta say, if I do say so myself. Do not squirrely on me, Spyro, because I am not screwing this up at the last lap while I'm in first place, because that would be very stupid of me, but we also know that I can be very, very stupid. I can grab the rocket so I have that if need be. So I can't even look behind me to see how close these guys are behind me, because if I turn around, I'm, I'm like, you know, the only way to turn around is basically screw yourself over. There we go. I think we're fine, though. I really do. I think we're really good. I was about to say, I was like, there's no way that guy got ahead of me. Duh, that's like the fifth or sixth place guy. For the rocket. For the ring. I don't need that one because I'm not going to chance that. Perfect. Awesome. We did it. <laughs> we won an egg for first prize. Those dumblebees should have known better than to challenge Dragon to a flying race. Awesome. We got Henry. That was a little weird. Sean, would you like to play? Okay, let's go time attack. Okay, so I don't know if we could do this without Hunter around is the only problem. We'll look and see, but I doubt, because Hunter's the one that always does these with us. And Hunter's still captured, so I'm guessing... I'm gonna look for just us. Yep, there it is right there. This is where he would be. Yep. Dragon, if you ever want to see your mangy cat friend again, you'd better leave here at once, the sorceress. Yep, I was right. There we go. Cool, it looks like you won't be hard to find, though. So we exit here. Okay. That wasn't too bad, less than 10 minutes. That was awesome. I think that one was easier than the past ones, or I'm just getting better at those. It, it could honestly go either way. <laughs> I mean, I am getting better at the game, at least I hope I am. Okay, so like I said, I think I'm supposed to just click leave area. Did I have to finish the speedway first for it to let me leave the area, maybe? But no, because normally I think it just... You know, that, that didn't activate anything, so I think I just have to go to the thing and select, like, I want to leave. Sorry, ooh, had an itch on my nose. Um, okay. Ooh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Wow, my nose is, like, itching like crazy. 
Okay, I'm thinking we're just supposed to leave now. Well, we need less than 5,000 gems. It's crazy. Okay, so... If we go here... Yeah, Midnight Mountain's the last area, so I guess I did have access to it. I just never picked it, because it was Sunrise Spring, then the first dungeon, like, the first boss, then Midday Gardens, then the second boss, and then we're in, um... I think it's, like, Lunar Lake or something? No, not Lunar Lake. Uh, Evening Lake or something. Yeah, Evening Lake, I think, is where we're at now. And then it's gonna be the next race. So, yeah, so we already did have access to the next area. It just never activated a cutscene saying we could go there like the other two places did. That's just kind of weird, actually, that it didn't do that. Scorch. Okay, I wonder what this boss is gonna be like. The first boss so far has been the hardest one, which is just crazy that the first boss is the most difficult. Because the second one was a piece of cake. That's it! I've had enough! I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. Yes, yes, it will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them. Oh, yes, smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them. Let me out of here, you. But uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> it doesn't matter, as long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl! I need them for a spell so I can live forever! Uh, wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> Ooh, if I had my blaster, you'd be singing a different tune! You know what I mean? You said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Well, this is gonna get real ugly. <laughs> ah. Poor Bianca. I'm glad she finally had enough there. I wonder if she's gonna free Hunter now. Okay, this guy's cool looking. Whoa, look at this guy. He's sick. Okay, I like this guy's design. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. <laughs> he has a huge I will vocabulary, doesn't he? I assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Much appreciated. Okay, bat boy. Let's find out your pattern. Okay, I guess that's a shield, and that's eggs. Okay, enemies. That's pleasant. Don't know where the other one went. Okay, that's not too difficult. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so no, shield doesn't... I like these weapons, though, better. <laughs> Those TNT rats? They look like rats in TNT boxes. That was interesting. Ow. Oh, really? You, you blew up the chicken. You really used it to blow up the chicken? That was kind of stupid, Spyro. Oh, Getty boy, you just got in my way. I like the rockets better, I think. Okay, he did it again. Basically, I need to not get so close is what I'm thinking. I say as I do that. So far, though, he is better than the other guys have given us uh, stuff. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? This is pretty cool, it's taking out all these really cool looking creatures. 
get out of here. I don't want to deal with you. Rocket power! Get out of here, buddy. Here we go. Well, that was really easy. Okay, yeah, that was the easiest boss of them all so far. James. <laughs> that was a little creepy when he looked right at the camera. I don't know why, but that was very, very creepy. There we go. Awesome. Well, that went really well. And hopefully Bianca lets Hunter go so we can go back and do some of the stuff that we needed him for. And Midnight Mountain, which I think is the last world. Awesome. Do, 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 do. Circle the rocket. Keep Spyro's little tail. Okay. Why do these loading screens take so long, I wonder? There we go. Hi, Bianca. Did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <sighs> I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> Yay, she did let him go. I like Bianca. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, I don't know if we got Hunter rescued yet or not. I know she let him out, but I think maybe do we need to find him, or is he just gonna appear? Oop, that might be her. Is that her and Hunter? Hello? I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? I'm kind of surprised over 100 isn't enough. Or it could be, and it's just, you know, we, we, you know, it can't sequence break by just letting it, you know, let us go to the end already, maybe? I don't know. Okay. So, before we go back doing other levels, I think Hunter's freed. I'm just going to assume he is. Can we get over there? Oh yeah, we could totally get over here. That was easy. Ooh, Saki. That's a cute name. There we go. Six. I wonder if you have to find all the dragon eggs, so maybe you have to do like 100% completion maybe to get to the boss. Or it's going to be some arbitrary number. Okay, why does he keep wanting to dash that way? I'm pointing him that way and he keeps running the opposite direction. That's just weird. Yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, because I want to get him, and then we'll go back and do all of the uh, uh, missions with like Hunter and where we're supposed to use Monkey Boy and whatnot. Okay, money bags. How much well, to let the monkey well, out? Spyro. Look what I have here. It's mm -hmm. a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I oh, that's just wrong. Out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. Mm hmm Take the money and leave. You always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Ah, oh, well, I suppose oh, there could be any harm in letting him out. Could there? Blast him. Thanks, Spyro. Oh, say, you ever see a fair dance? Uh, no? Well, it's your lucky day. Check this out. Quite <laughs> 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 a dancer, isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, huzzah, yippee, woohoo! Wish you could stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon. Know what I mean? You bet. Later! <laughs>
Okay, I really like Agent 9. He's giving, like... He's giving me, like, crypto vibes from uh, Destroy All Humans, along with... I'm trying to think what the other character is I'm thinking of, but there's another character who's kind of got that crazy, zany, gonna kill you but be your best friend kind of vibe. <laughs> I like him, though. Sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and do his thing here so we can use him in other levels. So I wonder how he plays. Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinox. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. <laughs> yep, he's insane, but I like him. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Ooh, first person shooter. Okay, he's got a regular jump. He's got a zoom look. Square does nothing. He can hold. Oh! So he moves on like a. He can move normally, but on like an axis, and if you hold O and R1, he does strafey stuff. And he's pretty simple, it looks like. Yeah, he's basically a first-person shooter type of thing, it looks like. As you probably tell, not my best type of genre. <laughs> That's what it is. I do actually enjoy the, sh you know, the occasional shooter here and there, but, again, not my best. My aim's not very good. Ooh, his bullets bounce off walls? <gasps> they do, so if I was to, like... Okay, they can't blow up that, though. Huh. Do I get, like, bombs or something like that? Because that's interesting that it can't... Hmm. Oh, I was supposed to destroy you. Did shooting those do anything? No, they just dropped coconuts. Now I'm confused. I want to... Do I need to shoot... Oh no, I gotta talk to you. Okay. A number of Rhinox are uh -huh. waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. Okay, sounds easy enough. Oop, I did not mean to look down like that. Oop. Why is my crosshair so high? There we go. I was like, that was annoying. Panic button. Okay, you can just teleport. <laughs> Didn't know the professor was that cool. Yeah, the controls are a little weird on this, but I think I'll get used to it. It's a little weird that there's no other like moves or anything. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Yeah, triangle sniper mode. It's literally just looking. Oh, yeah, this moves really fast. Oh, there you are. There we go. <laughs> Hit him with the ricochet. What kind of shape the machine room is in? I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Is there any eggs in there? Yeah, there's even eggs here, but so far I haven't read into anything. Let me get back up in here. Is there anything here? That was just where they were hiding. Okay. Just as I thought. The machine room is overrun with birds. <laughs> what? Find the birds in their nests. You'll want to use sniper mode. Then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. Wait, I have a zoom? Oh. That's new. 
Oh wait, you got serious zoom. Ooh. Ah, there you are. That's like my too high. Creepy little birds. Damn. Is that all of them? No, I hear one. Thought I did. What? Oh, you were hiding right there. Cheeky little guy. Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. Uh, what do you think? Always assume dragon. Beulah. That's an interesting name. Now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in here. If they did, what would happen? Okay, it blows them all out. How did so many birds get in here? Who needs aiming when you can just rapid fire, right? Well, I guess if you miss every shot. <laughs> oh man, I'm such a bad aim. Really, I hit you, but whatever. Get on two more. One more. Gotcha. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Uh, follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat. So is that how I get some sort of explosive blaster? You thinking then maybe? Let's see. Controls still feel a little weird, like the crosshair aiming, but the normal movement, everything. For some reason, it just feels off. For some reason, it's not bad. It's just like I'm having like a hard. Whoa! Dude, I keep meaning to click L3, not R3. Maybe I'll just keep going this way. Yeah, give me explosives. Ah, there it is, explosives. The bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly. Press the square button to throw the bombs. To carefully aim your throw, press and hold down square. Okay. Oh, and it gives us 10 bombs. Really? I can't even hit the stupid little potion bottle thing, really. There we go. Very much. I'll refresh on these gems. There we go. I thought I grabbed that one. Oh, what's weird is I just tapped square and I did that, but okay. If yep, I know, I, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. I still hit him. Okay, seriously? They're literally touching you. Why why can I not throw it straight ahead of me? Thank you, that was weird. I don't know what that was all about. Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Now I can resume thinking. So we got another egg. Rowan. So Zebedee. There's a return home portal, but we can't quite return home yet. Okay, let's go collect the last bit of gems, and isn't there still an egg here? Yeah, I gotta snipe the boats. Interesting. I was also really hoping to get through here. But I don't know how. Can I throw bombs through that? No. Very, very interesting. We go back through the level. Yeah, because these doors don't open, I don't think. Yeah, they don't open, so I can't even go through there. 
to say. Oh, that's a little bit of level that they did hide completely with rocks. Oops. <laughs> That sparks. Huh. I'm not sure exactly where this last little thing is. Snipe the boats. I assume it'd be over the water, but I'm not seeing anything. Like I said, I can't go through there. And it's gonna blow it up. Love the story. Nope, bomb just comes right back at me. None of those look like they can be blown up. I'm trying to look for any sort of hidden little whatchamacallits, you know? Not look like anything in here. We're back at the end of the level again. Yeah, and I see the boats over there. How do I get through here? There's no... Huh. Professor Guy, would you open the gate for me? That seems like something you should have done. Hello? Really? I think something's glitched, because I should, right? Unless am I doing something wrong? Oh, I saw a balloon up there. Aha, is that what I gotta do? I bet that's what I gotta do. Now they just drop gems. I really don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. Because I don't think that's swimmable water. <laughs> I thought I was so smart. I was like, oh, you break a balloon and it drops water or something on it, but maybe not. Oh, okay. I feel stupid. You do that. you would. Shouldn't I just be able to... There we go. Yeah. Okay, I feel stupid now. No comment, guys. No comment. <laughs> oh, I just blew up the tree. I was not trying to... I was trying to blow up this thing. The throwing mechanic on this is really weird. Alright, give me all my jams. My Jimmy jams. Yeah, I miss, like, every shot. That doesn't help any. These didn't have gems in them, did they? No, they do not. Cool. I wonder where the last bit of gems I missed is. Sparks says that way. Huh. I'm just like, I'll rapid fire, because that'll hit eventually, right? Oop, that guy's... He stopped working for a second, that was weird. Aha, he drove right into that one, so that guy. There you go. Ooh. It's so finicky, I'm like trying to move tiny little mounds. I didn't, I didn't even realize I hit him. Cool. Tony. Tony, Tony Chopper. <laughs> There we go, that's all the eggs. Okay, Sparks, you said there's gems up that way? No, this way. Up, up, up. There we go. Still some more? Yep, I seriously, I still missed more. Great. Okay, it's in here. Still this way, okay. Oh, 
since when were these floating in here? You think I would have noticed that, right? Okay, where else sparks? I can't really, I missed one. Okay, I don't think it's in here. I'm guessing it's back in the beginning area. Okay, really didn't plan on this level taking this long. Then again, though, I didn't think to look up. You would think, though, I would have, but considering this is a, you know, shooter level, there's probably all sorts of gems up in the air. Someone set us up the bomb. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Level complete. Now, I want to go through the end level gate just in case. <sighs> Not too bad, though. I do kind of like his control scheme. He's pretty simple. I still think out of all of them, I think either the Yeti or the Kangaroo are my favorite. I don't care much for uh, Captain Bird. He, he's kind of difficult to control. This guy's not bad. I'm just, you know, the shooter, it's a little, like, it's almost too touchy. I might have to mess with the sensitivity, but we only have to do, like, what, two levels with him, so I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. Okay, here we go. Return home. Here we go. Now we can use him in other levels. So then we can go back to the other area, complete the rest of the levels, which will be awesome, because we should also have Hunter access, right? I hope, maybe. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Return to Midnight Mountain. There we go. Awesome, how are we doing? 73%. We are, like, three quarters of the way through the game. This is awesome. We're making such great progress. But anyways, guys, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. In the next one, we'll return to the Evening Lake, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, Evening Lake to finish off these three areas. And then we'll also probably be able to do Sparks missions. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!